So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this 25 hidden features for your iPhone on iOS 10 and this might also work for your iPad as well here. So I just wanna go ahead and confirm that we are running version iOS 10 here for those of you who don't believe me. Let me go down here and about and show you that we are running iOS version 10.0.1. That's the official release from September 13, 14A403. Now, some of these features you might know and some of them you might not know, but for the ones you do know, just disregard those and take what you can from the ones that you want to know. So basically, let's get into that right now. Let's go. First hidden feature on the list is delete the default app. So you can go ahead and delete any applications, well not all of them, but some of the Apple applications. So you can delete HomeKit, iBooks, iTunes Store, you can delete stuff that you weren't able to delete in the past. So that's the first one on the list, delete the default apps from Apple. Second one on the list is going to be rest your finger to open because iOS includes the new home, press the home to open the lock screen here. So you can rest your finger to open by going into settings, going into general, going down to accessibility, scrolling down until you see home button right here and scrolling down to rest finger to open. This essentially makes your iPhone like it was before. Just press the touch ID scanner and go right in. So that's the second hidden feature on the list. The third hidden feature on the list only applies to iPhone 6S and 7. I'm not gonna be able to show it here, but you can force touch the flashlight to bring up low intensity flash, medium intensity flash, and high intensity flash. I don't, I'm not using the 6S currently at this moment, but go ahead and force touch on your flashlight and you'll see options to go ahead and do that. So that's the third one on the list. Fourth one on the list is going ahead and using your camera as a magnifier. So go into settings, go down into accessibility, go up until you see magnifier, turn that on and it says magnifier lets you use your device's camera quickly to magnify things. When enabled, triple click the home button to start the magnifier. So let's go into camera here and let's go ahead and bring up a marker over here so we can do this really quickly here so you could see. Let me go ahead and magnify. So you hear triple click there and now the magnifier is enabled and now we can just zoom in and use our magnifier right there. You can also turn on the flash while you're using this as well. So that's the fourth one on the list, the magnifier option. The fifth hidden feature on the list involves iMessages and there's a little bit of a cool thing you could do here. So you could say, hey, hello there. And on the side, you see this blue bar, you now have the ability to add a little bit of flair to your message by holding down and to tap them, you can go ahead and send these out. So you got invisible ink, which basically allows you to send an invisible ink where the person has to tap the ink to reveal the picture so it can add a little emotion connection to it. You can go here to gentle, which sends a gentle text, letting them know that you're being gentle in your wording. You can go over here and send a loud text, letting them know, listen to me, and then you got slam right here. So you can hold them to view them. You can hold down to view them and you just tap them to send them, tap twice. So tap once to enable and then tap to send. So you can see if I send a loud message, boom, now it's gonna be a loud message there and it's gonna show back in a loud message. Let me do one more. So if we do invisible ink, you can see now I have to reveal invisible ink right there. Now if I do one more, one more time, you can see if I hit slam now, let me go to slam really quickly. It's gonna slam that message or letting them know, hey, what's good? And then we're gonna go here and you can see it's slammed in there. Also, you have screen effects. So if we go to screen, you can get your whole screen effects on here with balloons. You have the ability to go to concert, which is like confetti. And you have the ability to send with lasers, do it for the lasers. And then we have fireworks. So I'm sure you can get your message across really well here with these hidden features here in iMessage. So that's the fifth one on the list. All right guys, the sixth one on the list is emojification, which is another awesome feature within iOS 10 iMessages, which was the, the biggest update throughout this. So we're gonna say something like, hey, let's enjoy some awesome watermelon and maybe go biking after that. Following that, let's see a movie. Don't forget your camera for this adventure. And then all you have to do is tap on the emoji and you can see it's gonna emojify everything that is an emoji. So now all I have to do is 
tap right here and you can see it does give you the ability to find the emojis that will work with these. So you can just tap them like so and find the one. And then you easily have all of these emojis built right into the messages. So just tap the emojis and that's the sixth hidden feature on iOS 10 on this list. Let's get into number seven. Now I'm sure a lot of you already know this one, but for those of you who don't, we have the raise to wake feature available on the iPhone SE 6S, 6S Plus, 7 and 7 Plus. So if you go into display here, you can just go under auto lock and you can hit raise to wake here. And basically you need an M9 motion co-processor, but when you pull up the phone, just like Motorola has been doing for years, as well as the Lumia glance feature, you now have the ability to just raise the wake and that makes it easier to get into your phone. You don't have to mess around with the lock screen. So go into settings, display and brightness, raise to wake, and that's number eight on the list. All right guys, number nine on this list is collaboration with people in Notes. So head over into your Notes application, begin a note, and go ahead and go up there where you see that icon where you see the head right there, like the contacts icon. You can just press that and start inviting people directly to your Notes application and start collaborating with them on Notes. That could be useful if you're doing study groups or your work groups and stuff, colleagues, and you're just kind of trying to get something productive done. That can help you there, collaboration within Notes. So that's number nine on iOS 10's hidden features. All right guys, so number 10 on this list is quickly unsubscribe from mailing lists. So if we go into mail, you can see you sometimes have some pesky notifications from all these people that you don't wanna see, although I know you wanna see that one right there, so don't unsubscribe from that one. But you can see, you can go ahead and unsubscribe from any mailing list that you get on you know, your mail application that you just don't wanna see anymore. You can go ahead and unsubscribe easily right there now in iOS 10. So that's number 10 on the list of hidden features. All right guys, number 11 on the list is for all you photographers out there who care about shooting in RAW format. Now the LG G4 was one of the first phones to shoot in RAW and it was touted as one of the best cameras in a smartphone ever, and it, which it was, but the iPhone did open up RAW support, but you cannot shoot with RAW within the regular camera app. So on the regular camera app, you're shooting in the JPEG format, which is basically what we've been shooting in forever. However, if you go ahead and download this application called Adobe Lightroom by Adobe, you can go ahead and format this to shoot in raw format, which is the DNG side right there, or JPEG. So that is now included in iOS 10. You can only do this in iOS 10, shoot in raw, which allows you to tweak your photos however you like and really just make them really personal to your taste instead of there being some post-processing going on within the JPEG format. So for all you photographers, you can now shoot in RAW on the iPhone series, and that's number 11 on the list of hidden features. All right, guys, for number 12 on the hidden features of iOS 10, you now have intelligent search in photos. So basically, you wanna leave your location enabled if you wanna use this feature on iOS 10 where you're taking your photos so it can kind of categorize them. But you go ahead up here in the search bar and you can search by, let's say, let me say ponds here. So I'm gonna go to ponds. See, it categorizes them based on the photo, how the photo looks. So if you have a beach, you have, you know, anything like a theater or something, it's going to categorize that and you can search intelligently to find those photos really quickly here in iOS 10. So that's a nice quick intelligent photos feature here on iOS 10 and that's number 12 on the list. All right guys, for number 13 on the list is now you can close quickly tabs. So what you do here is if you have multiple tabs open, instead of swiping through each one of them individually, just hold on on the thumb, the done button, and you can now close all tabs at once. And we know we're all opening a million tabs. That could be helpful there. So that's number 13 on the list of hidden features for iOS 10 for your iPhone. All right guys, for number 14 on the list, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that you can now play music while taking a photo. In previous versions, the photo, when you open the camera, the music would stop playing. So I'm gonna go on the music here, and you can see I am playing. You can see the music is playing there. I'm not gonna play it because of copyright purposes, but you can take photos while playing music. As you can see, the music is still playing here. Let me raise it up a little bit here. So you can see right there, it is playing while taking photos within iOS 10. So that's the 14th hidden feature on iOS 10. You can play music while taking photos at the same time. All right guys, for number 15 and the final feature on the list is doodling on your photos. So let's go into the photo application. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna tap on this tr uh, menu tray right there. We're gonna hit this icon three dot menu right here and we're gonna hit mark up here on our iPhones and now we can mark up our iPhone so you could zoom in, pick the colors you want, and I could say something like, watch this, this video, 
this is up on the channel. We did an iPhone SE all day battery vlog. You might wanna check that out. I'll leave a link right up here or down below in the description area. But that's number 15 on the list. Doodle on your photos and send them off to people, which is pretty awesome if you ask me and you could tap to show the original and not the original. So that's pretty much the 15 hidden features I have for you on iOS 10 as of right now. There's actually more, but I didn't wanna make this video extensively too long. And um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap this up. If you have any hidden features, please go ahead and drop them down below in the comments section to help out the community having the best iOS 10 experience we can possibly have. This is fresh, a lot of people are still holding off, but I think there are so many great features in this operating system, and it doesn't make your phone any slower if you guys were wondering about that. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap this up. I'll probably do a 15 trick tips and tricks video as well on iOS 10, and this whole week was pretty much dedicated to iOS 10, so yeah, I might get the iPhone 7, we'll see about that. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with somebody who could find this helpful. Have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well and peace. Hey Siri, take a selfie.